morning morning welcome back to my channel thank you for watching doing a vlog today about uh, my marathon training and my kit so um, very excitingly I'm heading to ASICS this afternoon to go and choose some kit that I'll be training in for the next uh, how many weeks it is not enough um, yeah so we've got about I think about six weeks to go until the marathon and I am gonna go and do a kit pickup I'm so excited. So um, as some of you may know, I've recently moved into a new apartment. So um, a lot of you have asked for me to do a little bit of a tour and I've not really like settled in yet. So I've not kind of set everything up how exactly how I would like it, but I will do a little bit of a tour of my room, which is slightly messy at the moment, just to keep you all happy. This is my room. Um, I need to fix the duvet covers. I want something like pinky, whitey, and a couple more pillows as well. Um, and some cushions up there, so it's really comfy um, for everyday stuff. Down there, I'm gonna have two little shoe rails, um, so I can put all my shoes that are currently down there and up there, just by the door. And then like a little, and that's obviously going on the wall, and a little basket for like my hats and gloves as I walk in, um, which currently I've been like hanging on this hook here. Um, that's all of us, little girls. That's a bit of a throwback. Um, this is my main storage. Hi. Um, so yeah, actually quite good storage. Got lots of hanging there. Um, and I've found places to put most of my clothes. So jumpers up there, running stuff in the left and boxing things up there as well. All my everyday clothes some more shoes I don't know how I have so many pairs of shoes but I do wear them all um, and then my favorite shelf so this is a shelf of things I've had since I was like I don't even know like eight so kind of like loads of rocks this is from my boyfriend's fossil collection here um, it's absolutely beautiful some more fossils over there anyway yeah very exciting a very messy chest of drawers currently. I really want to fix this. So I want to get a different chest of drawers because these are nice, but they just like are really hard to work. Like the drawers don't come out properly. Um, so I'm going to fix that. And then all of these shoes down here are going to be going over there to that thing because I've got some more up there as well. The book's looking neat, neat, neat. Um, and I'm going to put some more like ornaments and stuff at the top because I've still got some to bring over from the last house. Yeah. I think that's it basically for the room. Um, it's really lovely. It's a little bit more space than my last place, so I'm very excited about that. Um, but there's a little bit more kind of moving in that I need to do. So if you have any recommendations of like things to buy or places to buy them from, please do let me know. But for now, I'm gonna go out for a run. Need to get changed first. Headed out for a quick 30 minutes of cadence practice. So cadence is the number of times your feet hit the floor um, every minute. And if you have a very long stride, you'll have a low cadence. And a low cadence can mean that you get injured a little bit more easily, um, especially for someone who's like small like me. I should be having quite a high cadence, like a little mouse, and I don't. So I'm trying to fix that. So you put on a metronome and then you go running with the metronome. And um, this is great. If you do ever have to do this, Spotify, you can just type in running 175 BPM, which is what I'm doing and it will come up with a playlist of songs that are at one, 175 beats per minute and so you can just run along rather than just listening to like TikTok, um, not Kesha, just like a ticking and a talking. Um, <laughs> my god. Um, then, then you can actually listen to proper music as well. So um, I'm gonna head out, do 10 minutes of 175 BPM, 10 minutes without the metronome and then another 10 minutes of 175 BPM. No, um, distance goals or anything like that. Just gonna head out and run. See you when I get back.
So I've just got back from my run and I've helped myself to breakfast, which is absolutely delicious. It's avocado on toast with um, tahini and salt and pepper and olive oil. So super high fat, super high delicious. Um, and of course a coffee that says hello gorgeous making me feel better in, my, in the morning. Um, my run was really difficult. I, for some reason, I just couldn't, like my legs felt like lead. Luckily it wasn't, it didn't have to be any sort of pace. So I was just like going super slowly, but oh my God, it was, it was kind of painful for me. So thank God for rest week this week. Um, I think rest week does not mean it's kind of like active recovery, so I'm still getting miles in the legs, but nothing particularly far. You know, it's only half an hour, um, nothing particularly fast either. So um, I'm very grateful for rest week and also for my rest day tomorrow where I will be doing nothing um, with my body at all. Um, so I'm just gonna finish this up and then I've got a call with my marathon coach uh, very soon. And um, then I will be heading to the A6 store just had a chat with my coach and he told me uh, a lot of stuff that I already know so um kind of went through all the runs that I've been doing recently and uh, as per usual I've been told that I'm going too fast um which is just because of my background in basically anything middle distance and kind of sprinting and 1500 meters kind of and 5k's they're all about being fast and like fast throughout the race and you don't really have to have that much strategy for you know a 1500 meter or a 5k you just have to be able to handle a lot of pain um which i can but doing these long runs is teaching me to set out really really slow so i've just been given what i'm going to be doing next week and it involves after this rest week it involves going to track and doing track workouts um and that's kind of 200 meter sprints uh, six, eight or ten times depending on how my body's feeling and what my times are and trying to get consistent splits. So that will be, um, that's kind of uh, interval training and then at the end of the week as well I'll be doing one long run which will be around 15, 16, 17 miles depending on the week that I'm doing it in um, and those ones are about being just so slow on the runs. Um, I get so competitive with myself and I really enjoy running really, really fast. So um, being told to go really slowly is kind of like totally counterintuitive for me, but I'm gonna give it a real good shot um, and see if I can get those really low numbers at the beginning of each run and actually speed up through them with those negative splits that I was talking about in my last YouTube, which if you haven't watched, you should definitely go and watch. So I'm gonna write up now what my plan is for next week so that I have it already set in my head what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. Um, so that there are really no excuses when it comes around to, to heading to the track and smashing out those 200 meters. Um, so I'm just gonna do that now. Hi everyone, I'm out and about, um, just on my way to the A6 store in, on Regent Street. Um, it's bloody freezing, but my house is about as cold as it is out here. So I've just sort of wrapped right up, um, just about half an hour away, and then I'll take you in and then try and show you all the clothes. I think there are a couple of things that are not out yet, so I won't be able to show you those. But other than that, I'm really excited to um, show you everything that I'll be choosing and uh, get your opinion on it all as well. lighting in here wow um i've just chosen a whole load of stuff so i'm in the um the changing room i'm gonna show you what i've chosen oh got someone hi i'm gonna show you what i've chosen number one sportive running bra this is super nice i doubt it's gonna stay white for very long but i absolutely love it so hey ho um these are i think some compression running tights they've got like little mesh panels at the side um and they're they're not very high waisted um but i'm going to try them on and see how high they come up because i like high waisted when i run um these ones are high waisted um and they have like a drawstring at the top um in case they're not tight enough so they are fancy um and then a black pair again of slightly compression leggings black is my friend love it um, and then this cute little top, I actually think this will just be for like everyday wear because I don't run and stuff like this, but I absolutely love it as well. And then a black pair of the navy compression leggings um, for days when I'm feeling 
black. Outfit number one, these are the um, high-waisted leggings. They are super duper high-waisted, uh, which is quite fun, though I do feel like I'm a little bit short for them. They um, bunch up a little bit at the bottom, but in winter that's not a problem because seven eighths lengths means cold ankles and I'm not about that life. Um, the bra as well, this is lovely. I've got the bra in a size small, the leggings in a size extra small. I might size up in the leggings, um, not entirely sure. They're hard to get over my bum, um, which is not that surprising. Um, but yeah, generally I really like them and they are definitely not falling down when I run as well So that's always a winner. These are the mesh leggings that come in the navy and the black I love them on the legs, but on the waist here. They're a little bit too low for me So um, I prefer to have a high weight at something when I'm running. I don't know why it just feels more supportive and feels like I don't like um, Like it doesn't cut into my stomach as much so I prefer it to be like a little bit higher So I don't think I'm gonna take these ones. So these are in a extra small I think they're super nice but also they give me a bit of a camel toe and um, can't be coping with that while I run so I'm not gonna try on the blacks of these I think I'll leave these ones for now okay we found a happy medium with these ones so these have a pattern on them I don't know if you can see there you go um, and they're like a medium waist they've got a um, like a wrap thing at the top a tie so that if they are the wrong size you can kind of tighten them up a little bit and um, usually I don't like those but actually they work quite well in this because they're otherwise very snug so I think I'm gonna go for these ones and then I'm gonna try a pair of these on as well because everyone says red suits me and I just have everything in black so we'll give those a go okay so I have chosen these high-waisted leggings um, in a bit of a colour other than black, which is um, unique to me. That's exactly what I was thinking as well. I was like, oh, these black leggings are nice. I realised that I have yeah, ten black leggings. Yeah, really black. Um, this sports bra, which is lovely and will be grey with it about three washes, probably, <laughs> okay. Um, this crop top is sweet, my crop now, so I'm wearing one. And then um, this mid layer as well. motion ID done which is to test uh, the way that he runs so I'm gonna film a little bit of that and then I'm gonna get mine done as well which is why I'm not really wearing any clothes run Alex run <laughs> how fast are you going 11 nice running bit turns out my feet are hella weird um, and nothing really works for me but I really love the shoes that I'm wearing already so just gonna stick with those what did you find out how did you find it I found out that you run like a duck <laughs> I run like a duck it's true <laughs> no about me I'm a neutral runner which I knew already yeah and uh, I don't pronate as much as you um, but also that I'm just how the hell am I gonna just, get through a man I don't know yeah, we'll be good we'll be good it's gonna be fine it'll be fine I've just got home from choosing um, outfits and basically I ate at uh, 10 o'clock today, 2 o'clock, no, 10, 12 and 2, like proper meals at each of these times. Um, and I was like, that will do me until dinner, that's fine. You know, most people don't eat between lunch and dinner. Um, got to four o'clock and I was like, I think I'm gonna die. So I didn't think the marathon training was particularly affecting my appetite, um, but it turns out that's just because I've been eating every two hours. So, <laughs> you know, um, obviously not gonna be hungry when I'm having meals every two hours. But I just got 
this lovely thing, which is a poke bowl. So it's got brown rice at the bottom, um, ginger, some bubbly things, some um, beetroot burger type things, seaweed, which I added, um, and some pepper something or other. So I'm very excited for that. It is currently, it's currently six o'clock. Um, which may be a little bit early for dinner, but I'm gonna eat now because I'm blooming starving all the time um, So anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that I will be getting to run back to running um, in two days time having a rest day tomorrow Which I'm super excited about um, again if you have any more questions about my running um, do message me uh, Or comment on my Instagram or comment below. I think I'm answering them as I go so if you do have any questions check out my other um, my latest two YouTubes as well because they have a little bit more information on them so hopefully I will have answered most of your questions there. This week it's only a three run week, already done two, got one to go. Gonna do it, it's gonna be good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time, bye!